What's going on, YouTube and I? Welcome to another edition of uh, Letters from the Long Box. This is episode 11, I do believe. We kind of skipped last week because if you didn't know, Mikey Sun was just a little bit busy with his launch of his new website, geekositymag.com. Make sure you check out geekositymag.com and you'll see me on there sometimes. But hey, uh, as usual, this is our weekly mailbox where we uh, answer your viewer mailbag questions uh, from the Geekosity webpage as well, or Facebook page, excuse me, as well as the Lords of the Long Box. So let's get right to it, boys and girls. Uh, if your question is used, you will get a Marvel No Prize. It's in the mail. <laughs> So let's right get to it. All right, our first question. These questions come from the Lords of the Long Box video that if you have a question that you want us to use for next week, make sure you leave a question in the comments section below. But let's get right to it. The first question is from General Pudis. <laughs> I see what you did there. Hey, Mikey and Tim, there have been many rumors of this particular theory on how they will introduce the Fantastic Four in the MCU. But the Fantastic Four originate from the 19. But well, the Fantastic Four originate from the 1960s and use the quantum realm or negative zone to time travel to present day. Great question. Uh, Mikey's question is: The scenario has been brought up in the development talks. But I don't think they will decide that's the path to take, but it's on the table. So, uh, if you remember, I think one of the um, early drafts of the FF movie was it was going to take place during the 60s. So obviously it's way early in the process. Anything can happen, but, but probably not that way. Um, it'll probably be modern era, but we shall see as more find out and the COVID shutdown starts going away and there more development starts happening. We'll probably get much more on this, especially after fandom. Marvel has to come correct, right? All right. Next question is coming from Trevor T. I've heard the chatter from a few channels. I've heard the chatter from a few channels that the actress Catherine Winnick being cast as Sue Storm instead of Emily Blunt. Any truth to that? None at all. There has been no official casting news. We've heard Emily Blunt was in the running, but nothing about Catherine Winnick. So thank you for your question, Trevor. Uh, next question is from Matthew Rabin. Uh, will the MCU replace the Hulk with someone like Amadeus Cho? Seems like the MCU may be pushing diversity and new younger characters. Uh, Mikey's uh, response is currently there are they are committed to keeping Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk. I mean, he, they've been teasing it a lot. There's been there was just a, I think last week uh, Mark Ruffalo um, was uh, talking about uh, who would win between him and Wolverine. And he asked specifically said Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. So there you go. Very interesting how these actors like to play with this kind of stuff in public and see maybe there's some truth to them. Maybe it's just fun. All right. Next question up is coming from Key Comics. Not that one. Uh, I heard a rumor that Brian Cranston would be cast as Dr. Doom. Perhaps Doom could start a drug empire to fund his nefarious plans. I see what you did there. You're doing a little Heisenberg and Breaking Bad. Uh, Cranston, Mikey's response is, Cranston is an incredible actor, but he's thus far not on the list of actors being considered for Dr. Doom. He would slay it as Harry Osborn, though, which is the buzz I've heard in the past. There you go. Is that a scoop or not? Well, anyway, thank you for your question, uh, Key Comics. Brent, next question comes from our friend Red Lodge Crow. Mikey Sutton, will Venom be the co-main character in Craven's new movie? Thanks and keep up the great work. Thank you. Now that I've heard, Mikey says, Venom seems an unlikely choice for a Craven film, but it would give it a financial boost. So there you go. I don't know if you've been paying attention last week or a week, bef week before that. Uh, there uh, was uh, rumors or a story came out about uh, Sony doing a Craven film. Uh, probably the wor wor worst kept secret in Hollywood because everybody's been think waiting for a Craven's Last Hunt film for quite a while now. And Sony's still trying to build out their little uh, spunk SPUMC. All right, thank you for all the questions for Lords of Longbox. These next set of questions come from our friends over at Geekosity. Make sure you check out Geekosity Mag, geekositymag.com. Speculation, Hercules. Uh, Suraj Mehra says, I have a question. I have seen people being upset about Parallax in Green Lantern and Galactus in the Fantastic Four Part Two, being shown as giant gaseous cloud-like creatures. I wonder how else can a planet devouring entity be shown? Do we want them as humanoids bigger than planets or what? Mikey Sutton, any idea how Galactus is going to be represented in the MCU? 
Galactus will be faithful to the Stan, Le Stan Lee and Jack Kirby vision from the comics. So there you go. And happy 103rd uh, birthday to uh, Jack Kirby. And also, uh, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. I will talk about this on our live show on Tuesday. And just some important things you should know as uh, for your health. And a uh, little praise to a uh, man, Chadwick Boseman, who not only did... Uh, the Black Panther, but he was also Marshall Thur uh, Thurgood Marshall. He was also Jackie Robinson. He was also James Brown. He had tons of roles, even a college football player. I'm trying to remember that flick, but uh, best to remember Chadwick Boseman is just, you know, pop in some of his movies this weekend and just enjoy him as much as you can. But uh, our uh, thoughts and uh, are with uh, Chadwick and his family and all of his friends and colleagues over at Marvel Studios and the rest of everywhere else too. But I will talk about it on Tuesday. All right. Uh, next up is Joshua Nystrand. Any chance we will see J.J. Abrams return to direct Star Wars episodes 5, 6, and 7 if and when they happen? Uh, Mikey's response is Abrams has left the building. He is off to Warner Brothers in D.C. and he's not looking back. He got $500 million, so yeah, he's done. Uh, Salvador Villarreal Jr. asks, any truth to the Lucas cut of The Rise of Skywalker? It does not exist. Uh, George Lucas has not filmed anything for Star Wars in quite a long time. If it does exist, it's probably just some treatment that he wrote down somewhere. The Not a single thing has ever been cut from it. Please don't listen to these crazy sites that you guys read uh, that there being a Lucas cut of Rise of Skywalker. Why would there be a Lucas cut? Do you, have you seen George Lucas in any capacity directing anything of Star Wars ever, ever since, you know, the first uh, Force Awakens? All right. Uh, Steven Tyler asked, as Steven Tyler Bloom asked, Hey, Mikey and TiVo, any chance we'll see Betsy Braddock, aka Psylocke, or Quanon, Quanon in Shang-Chi? Sorry about that. I could not get that name right. It's not a well known character, by the way. Uh, Psylocke will make her MCD debut, but I doubt that soon. So she will eventually come. My guess is you'll see her in Excalibur or one of the Captain Britain uh, uh, things that get developed because that's where her, her, she's butter. There are so many characters in the X-Men universe that, you know, where you start or where you put certain characters. And I mean, that's why they're just going to pick and choose which characters go here, which characters go there. So I'd be kind of curious to see uh, how that goes. But definitely Psylocke is one of the fan favorites, I would imagine. Um, unfortunately... You know, the way they made her in the last um, Fox film, right? I mean, you know, I think I like I think Disney once or gets a hold of the Fox properties. It's kind of like, let's hold on to these characters since they've been used so much already. Uh, and if they were re well received or not, and then you have their own spin on it. So we'll see how it goes, man. But Psylocke definitely can see her. And plus, uh, we love the outfit. Hey. But thanks for uh, checking us out. Remember, if you have a question for myself and Mikey, please leave it in the comments below and we will get to it next Sunday. We drop This video drops every Sunday, so make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, like and all that good stuff so you don't miss any of this fine content. And I will see you guys Tuesday for the Cover Price Top 10. Until next time, boys and girls, keep digging in them long boxes. Peace out.